Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Finally, I am back again. I'm so excited. Today's video, um, I want to talk about how you, you know, how you get your surgery, like the steps and all that stuff. This is with insurance. You don't have to pay for your surgery, especially in New York, PA, and I think they're doing it in California. I'm not even sure. But um, I did not pay for my surgery because I know there's a lot of people who excuse me, who asks, oh, Quinn, did you pay for your surgery? I'm like, uh, and how much was it? I'm like, um, what? I did not pay for my surgery. Insurance paid, like, covered my breast and my vagina. So, I'm excited and happy for that. But they did, um, help me through it and stuff. So, um, let me just tell you guys what you have to do. You need three letters from a, your primary care doctor slash endocrinologist. Another letter from your psychiatrist. Is it psychiatrist? Yeah, I think it is. And then a third one from your um, therapist. So, primary care doctor, psychologist, and your um, therapist. If you do not have a therapist, they will not let you get the surgery or whatever. You need a therapist letter. So, for me, before hormones, before everything, I had therapy with this um woman she was amazing her name is diana kramer she's located in long island i think or she just recently moved because she just gave birth congratulations to her if she's watching but um she was amazing i was with her for about six months i had two sessions per month i think it is and she was amazing when i tell you amazing she only charged i think like 65 dollars per session it wasn't that bad but i did pay for my sessions for therapy so um yes I went to her and then you know she spoke about me and you know I want to be trans and I mean I didn't want to be trans I knew I was trans because don't forget transgender is not a choice it's who you are who you always been but um anyway moving on so you need those three letters and then one more thing you need an approval from your insurance if your insurance do not approve it and deny your request to getting surgery then you're fucked I'm, I'm just being honest. You are absolutely fucked. Because I got denied at one point. And then the people from my clinic, they actually told me, you could fight that, Quinn. Like, you could fight it. Like, it's your money. It's your insurance. So, you could get whatever the hell you want. Like, if you could go to the dentist with your insurance and, you know, be like, I want a cleaning. It's my money. Here's my insurance. So, I want my surgeries. What up? Like, <laughs> I want my surgery. So, um... So yeah, so they finally approved it. They approved it the day before my surgery. So I was so happy when I tell you. See, I was so happy. Like I was about to like cry because I was drinking the um what you call that the ball prep thing that that water thing that you have to drink prior to sex reassignment surgery. I was drinking that, and then while I'm drinking it, she finally called me and told me, oh, it was approved. I was like, oh, okay, good, thank God, because I'm not drinking this for no reason and shit in my ass. Like, shitting for, like, five hours. So, it was actually more than that. But, yes. So, when when you go to the psychologist, I think they're gonna, like, he's gonna test you. Because he was trying to test me. Like, he wanted me to say, I'm not happy. I'm so depressed. Like, he wanted me to, like, you know, tell him that I really wanted this. So, of course, I, you know... I sobbed like a little baby was like, I really need this. Oh my God, I really need this. And then they finally, you know, he gave me the letter and then my therapist gave me the letter. She had recently gave birth. So she finally like took like a month to give me the letter, but I got it. I'm so happy. And I only needed one letter from each person just to get this and this together. Cause the good thing is that the good thing about getting both surgeries is that if you don't, I mean, you only need one letter per person. If you get just your breasts, you're going to need a, a letter for your breasts. And then you're going to need a letter for them. And you don't want to do that. You'd rather ju just get both and just get one letter. You know, it's just better. But some people are nervous and, you know, pain-wise. Me, I have a very... I mean, I don't... I, like, I like pain. I don't really care. I don't have no tattoos, but I dealt with two surgeries. So, you know... I mean, I cried and stuff, but... But not because of pain, more because of depression after surgery. Y'all already know that in my freaking other video. But, um, yes. 
So that's what you need to do. And and if your insurance is denying it, call them up. Tell them like, look, I'm transgender. I need my surgeries. And yeah, and you guys are really acting up. Like I really want my surgeries. Like what is wrong with you? So you gotta do that, cause they sometimes could be acting up and denying it. Like you won't reappeal that shit. Like, are you kidding? So yes, but I'm. Oh yeah, by the way, really quick, I'm gonna see i know insurance do not cover it because it's cosmetic but your breast is cosmetic as well I, I think but um anyway yeah so i'm thinking about getting facial feminization surgery with rachel bluebond i think because she's on one of the lists that they take insurance i have the paper right here if you guys want to know all the doctors in New York City that take insurance for facial feminization surgery, sex change, breasts, everything, let me know. Hit me up. Of course, my kick and my Instagram and my Snapchat is going to be in the bottom at Moonlight Desires. But I have the paper somewhere, but I have all the lists of all the insurance, I mean, all the surgeons that take insurance, like... You guys need to get into that because people be acting up. But you have to make sure that you have a therapist, you have a psychologist. Well, they're going to recommend you the psychologist, I think. And then your primary care doctor, which is the person that prescribed you the hormones, he or she could easily give you that letter because you go to him all the time or her, whatever. Like, the clinic I go to is located in Manhattan, um, in 18th Street called Colin Lord. I'm pretty sure most of you guys been there if you're from New York. But that's like the best clinic. I never like thought of, about getting my hormones from the street or by someone else or online. I'd rather go to a clinic where they can help you draw your blood, test test your hormone levels and stuff like that. I still go to this date and I'm already three years on hormones. So y'all gotta do what y'all gotta do. Step your pussy up, get your pussy, get your titties. You know, you have to look good. I'm getting, I'm, I'm thinking about getting my titties redone. I want them a little bigger. I feel like they just look too, I mean, I have a thin waist. Like, it's very thin. Look at that. It's very thin, like, very thin. But I kind of want them bigger, like, because this is 245 cc's. I want, like, 260. I want them to be like that. Now I'm playing. Oh, that, oh, that really hurt when I just did that. But, um... Yeah, so that was a quick video on how to, you know, what you have to do to get your surgeries and stuff like that. And if you have any questions, you know, you can always write to me. I tell you guys, in every video, you can always write to me. Look at that hair. That is not cute. Oh, my God. Where's my edge control? Like, come on, edge control. No work for me. Anyway, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Who texted me? Oh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Click that notification. Notification. What am I saying? <laughs> oh, that hurt. Click that um that little bell, that notification bell thing, so so you can see my video once I post it publicly. And you know, girl, no. Anyway, yeah, so do that. Follow me on Snapchat and all that stuff at Moonlight Desires. At Moonlight Desires is my IG. It's the, it's the everything. So do that and see you guys in my next video.